If you have a garden, like many Iowans do, you know the joy of putting your hands in the soil and harvesting something fresh and delicious to eat that you grew yourself. But do you ever stop to think where the seeds you grew came from? Or how that plant variety came into being? This is Professor Neil Hamilton from the Drake University Agricultural Law Center with today's Our Water, Our Land. Today we're at the Seed Savers Exchange beautiful heritage farm in the rolling hills north of Decorah. You may have heard of Seed Savers, but you may not know the importance of what goes on here. Seed Savers was created over 40 years ago with the goal of connecting the farmers and gardeners who are saving the seeds from the heirloom plants that their families have raised for generations. Today, this work to save and propagate these seeds has become known as the heirloom movement and you can find heirloom vegetables on menus and grocery stores all throughout the nation. But in many ways, that work began here at Seed Savers Exchange. Seed Savers plays a leading role in connecting eaters to the genetic diversity of the food crops available in our nation and in the world. Through our network of members and gardeners, Seed Savers Exchange maintains an extensive array of garden varieties. In our seed bank here at Decora, we have over 30,000 varieties of seeds that have been deposited. And in our historic orchard, we have 1,300 apple varieties, plus hundreds of other heirloom flowers, the type that would have grown on farms 100 years ago. It's been my pleasure to be on the Seed Savers Exchange board for over 20 years and watch it grow into a world-class organization helping lead the genetic conservation movement with our vegetable heritage. If you've never visited Seed Savers, I encourage you to do so. The gardens and almost 900 acres of property are open to the public. There's an extensive set of trails and miles of trout streams that are available for people to use. If you visit, you'll see the gardens, prairies, wetlands, and a number of conservation projects where Seed Savers is helping demonstrate the techniques that can be used to restore soil health, protect water quality, and restore natural land. The Twin Valleys here at Heritage Farm are protected under a USDA conservation easement held by the Iowa Natural Heritage Foundation and will always remain as this unspoiled, protected, beautiful Iowa countryside. SSC is playing a leading role on the world stage as the only private non-governmental gene bank that is depositing seeds into the global seed vault on the island of Svalbard in the Arctic north of Norway. I had the opportunity to visit the seed vault this winter, flying 800 miles north of the Arctic Circle to help celebrate the 10th anniversary of its creation. It was a humbling experience to be in this room in the middle of a mountain a seed vault holding over one million different seed varieties that have been deposited by national and international gene banks from around the world. The Global Seed Vault and SSE are both involved in doing the vital work of preserving the genetic diversity of the food crops upon which we all depend. They are both sound reminders of the first rule of tinkering. Don't throw away the pieces. As the nation and the world deals with the change in climate and wild fluctuations in our weather, we are going to need all of the genetic diversity we have so that we can develop crops that are resilient and can respond to this changing climate. The rich diversity of our food crops and the varieties that were preserved and developed by our ancestors are an important part of this puzzle. As Iowans, we are fortunate to have an organization like the Seed Savers Exchange located in our state, helping remind us of the importance of caring for the land and of planning for the future. This has been Professor Neil Hamilton from the Drake University Agricultural Law Center with today's Our Water, Our Land.